Hey, 5.30. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I've been talking about my new solar uh, bike. My new and improved uh, solar e-bike. And today I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. Here it is. I made a full length video. It's been a year and a half ago. And uh, it weighed too much and put out too little uh, power. But I have uh, I bought a different solar panel uh, that, that's stationary. And then I've got a supplemental on the ground for when you're when you're stopped. If you stop to eat lunch or stop for the evening and you still have sunlight, that'll charge also. I got a Y connector where you can connect them both. Right now it's it's not bright sun, it's sunny, but I'm putting out 102 watts. Uh, full sun should be 150. They're each rated 100, and uh, they never do what they're rated. But anyway, this one, I'll show you how I made it. I bent... EMT thin wall conduit that makes a complete circle and I bought these um, maker maker.com uh, they have fittings so you can build anything out of EMT uh, it's like Legos of EMT and I highly recommend them anyway so that frame supports this uh, semi-flexible panel. And then I, I took some uh, Armaflex that you insulate air conditioning lines with to pad it so it doesn't rattle and all that. So this is it. This, uh, I dropped about 10 to 15 pounds by getting rid of that big heavy stationary panel and uh, I'm putting out 200 watts I only had a hundred watt capacity before so uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out so that's my sneak peek today I'm the Tennessee cycle path